How's it going guys? I'm Oz and um, I really needed to give you guys an update about my car because um, I was really surprised on Monday when I put up my vlog. I I think you could see that I was obviously in a really really bad, bad place because um, it's not a nice feeling when someone's in your car without you knowing. It's sort of like an invasion of privacy and all this sort of thing and just yeah, I'll talk about all that in a moment. Um, I did a live stream instead of recording Game of Thrones um, because I was just not in a good place at all. And the amount of people that went to my live stream, I was just really, really, really overwhelmed. I had about 60 people in my stream waiting for me. You guys were incredibly patient. So I started a live stream and with the intention of, you know, getting on within five minutes. But um, the forensics came over and they dusted my thing to try and find prints and stuff and yeah it was just they didn't find anything they can't yeah i will get, get to that in a moment and so you got you guys were just amazingly patient um i was actually donated three hundred dollars altogether from various people um which again was really 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 appreciative i just i i really couldn't believe it i just Thank you guys so much. I, yeah, it was just it was a crazy day for me, and there was a lot of feelings. But basically, when I was streaming literally all day, um, when I ended, I, I just finished up in a much much better place than when I started. And I just wanted to give you guys just the biggest thank you for all the support, and even on YouTube, all your comments and stuff have just absolutely been amazing. And I. I really thank you guys so much. So basically what happened on um, Monday morning, Matthew goes to work every morning at 6.30 and so he went out and he noticed that my petrol cap was on the ground and the door was open, like the, the, the little flap thing for the petrol cap was open and all that sort of thing. So he put it back on, closed it up and went to work and he called me to tell me this, um, that he noticed that it was the petrol cap was on the ground and that it smelt a lot like petrol um, and I was just like oh you've got to be kidding me wow really because we used to have this problem a lot um, in another suburb where I used to live which was filled with bogans Matthew used to have his petrol siphoned all the time and stuff like that so I went out to my car and I went to turn it on to see um, how much petrol that actually taken because we just thought that was it I got my key halfway in and I couldn't turn the ignition they it was then that I realized that they attempted to steal my car because no matter how hard I tried, I tried to turn the ignition and something was obviously jammed in there. They totally fucked it up. Um, I started going into obviously an anxiety panic attack sort of thing and I called up Matt and I, I couldn't talk for like 30 seconds. He's like, what is it? What is it? Because I was just absolutely hysterical and crying. And I'm like, they tried to steal my car. <laughs> So it wasn't until, um, you know, a minute later when I got out of the car that I noticed that they actually busted in my front door lock as well. And I was just like, you've got to be fucking kidding me. You know, because here I'm thinking that I'm going to have to spend all of this money fixing these things up. Um, anyway, so we called the cops and they came around and they assessed it, took down some notes. And then they got the forensics in. So the forensics came in. They couldn't pick up any prints because my car's just so messed up. Like it's just like the steering wheel's all crusty because it's so old and stuff. It's yeah, and, and and like my um, it's a pretty. It's like it looks like a really crap car, but structurally, like it's it's really still it's really good. Like engine wise, it's still really good. That's what is the reason why I still got it. It's still my first car. Um. But yeah, the paint job is all faded and stuff like that. And it's just, yeah, so she couldn't pick up any prints. However, what I forgot to mention in my other vlog, um, because obviously I was so distressed, I needed it to end so then I could just like take a breather from it, um, was that just down the road from us, there was a car that was burnt out. So they think that there's a group of teenagers, probably not even that, probably about, you know, 11 or 12 years old, that are going around in the middle of the night lately. That night they burnt out 11 cars, uh, sorry, 11 cars, Jesus, three cars. Um, and one of them could have easily have been mine. 
I was, it was so close to being my, it was, I was very lucky that they just didn't get frustrated and just burnt out there and then on the street, like, I was so lucky. And um, now it's, it's incredibly scary thinking about it because, you know, if they attempt it again, not only does it stuff me up again, but like if they did burn it out, I'm just, I'm screwed. I've got no savings. I've got nothing. I've got, oh my God. Um, because like I'm insured and stuff, but by the time I pay my excess, which is $500, my payout is only $1,000. Now to buy a car for that price, Jesus, you can't, you can't like, you get a shell that's, you know, got an engine that's probably leaking like nothing on earth. Like you just, you can't. Um, Matthew and I started looking at cars that are around $4,000 and they're just so shit in comparison to what I've got. My car's only done 130,000 Ks, whereas these ones, they're like 250,000 Ks and they're, they're just shit. They really are and they want four grand for it. So to get anything decent, do you know, that sort of matches what, I'm look, what I've got is like 12 grand. I have to buy a new car this year. I have to because if something was to happen to this one, I've got nothing. And I'm, I'm fucked. I can't go. I can't. I can't even get to work. Like, it's ridiculous. So, to those of you that have donated, I'm gonna put that money towards a new car because I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to. So, what happened with the ignition was that um, Matthew managed to fix the front door lock pretty easily. That was okay. It was just busted in, so he put it back, and it still works. That's good. Um, he rang up a motor company to see how much it would cost them to come out and fix it and they quoted me something like $250 and I'm just like, fuck. Anyway, he said to them, well, they suggested that um, Matthew t were to fix it and so he's like, oh, alright, then how do you do it? And they, they told him over the phone how to do it. So Matthew went outside and um, that's the reason why I took so long to get onto the stream is because I was helping him out because I was an absolute bitch to do it, but he got it to a point where he pulled the ignition and everything apart so then I can manually turn it on in another way. <laughs> I don't want to explain how to do it because I don't want anyone to take my car. But yeah, so I, I could turn the key, I could turn it on with just using a screwdriver. It was really funny. And so Matthew took the ignition to the um, repair shop and they opened it up and they were able to get the thing that was jammed in and out of it. So in the end, this whole thing only cost me $45 to repair so I was just really 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 fortunate because originally it was going to cost me 250 just for them to get up, come out here and pick up my car and take it back to the workshop without them even looking at the ignition so you know it could have cost anywhere around $400 so I was just incredibly incredibly fortunate I was very 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 lucky um, basically what saved me was that the fact that I have an immobilizer in my car basically it's this electronic thing that you have to click a button to um, turn it off and then you can turn your car on because if that light keeps blipping in the car you can't turn the key around you physically can't do it so I the reason why I got that was because back in college when I was 17 um, because I was living in that dodgy area that where Matthew kept getting his car siphoned and stuff the government had this grant the government gives the police station you know so much money every year and um, the police station allocates about 10 grand of that towards um, getting new new immobilizers for people that are on welfare because often we have cars that are well shit and are targeted all the time so I was able to apply for one and I got one installed for free so if it wasn't for that scheme I wouldn't have a car right now so it I never thought that it's never something that you think that would happen to you until it actually does and it is incredibly scary it's it's sickening and all I can say from this is don't, I was so fortunate that I didn't steal anything that was out of my car, that I didn't steal my radio or anything else that I had in my car. I had a couple of things, nothing too valuable in there, but still it's like, uh, thankfully they, they, was, they were strictly out to vandalise my car and I was just incredibly, incredibly lucky. So all I can say from this guys is lock your cars, keep them close to your house and don't leave anything valuable in it. Um, and make sure you've got insurance. Just th it's a stupid time that we're living in, but at the end of the day, like I'm so lucky to have Matthew. <laughs> I really am, and I'm so lucky to have you guys because you guys really, really made my day a whole lot easier. 
and I've, I've been in such a better place because of it because I, I still like I've, I keep getting messages from everybody being so supportive and I just I thank you guys so much so um, hopefully I'll see you guys again in the live stream sometime I'm so glad that I got so many people from YouTube to finally get onto Twitch TV because it's my way of easily getting in contact with you guys I, I can't emphasize enough how much I need you guys to follow me on my social networks my Twitter and my Facebook and stuff that way I can connect with you a whole lot more and yeah, it's just it's so, much, so much better. So thanks, guys, for being there for me. I really appreciate all your support, and um, I'll see you guys again soon. Take care.